So I was flying in Indiana, in United States. Then uh, before flying, uh, there was some time, the pilot didn't come, then I was just going around seeing all their uh, photographs and records and things. This club has been there for over thirty years in thing and they have a good record and all this. Then I asked, how many have died? This is only seventeen people. In the last thirty years, only seventeen people. I said, okay, then uh, today being eighteen, the chances are low, but it's possible, <laughs> it's possible. Then the pilots come la pilot comes late and he says, I'm sorry, sorry and jumps into his suit and does all those things in such a rush. Then I wonder, the guy who's tying these knots, if he also has come late and tied it up in a hurry, then it's an issue. So you're jumping off without anything, well you have it on your back but when you jump, you're just jumping off. So that last moment, will this open or not? Just one string, strings attached, you know, only one string. Like this you should do, you can't pull it and test it because if it opens up here, you can't jump. So you're not supposed to test it, you're supposed to believe somebody who's tied the knot and believe he's done it perfect. We do not know if he is putting the knot for the first time. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen thousand feet, a plane flies, usually it's a rickety old plane. When I went, the plane was making such horrible noises, it was easier to jump than stay in the plane. In the state of Ohio, Shankaran Pillai went to learn skydiving. So he's about to jump. And uh, the instructor said, when I say, you pull the string, only one string. There's no backup string, only one string. So, Sankaran Pillai asked, suppose it doesn't open the parachute, how much time do I have? The instructor said, well, all your life, huh? Your entire life, <laughs> this is the nature of life. Your entire life is now. You have to breathe now, you have to eat today, you have to drink water today. You cannot live on yesterday's stuff, isn't it? One day if you stop all this, one minute if you stop all this, life starts going down. Don't li don't believe what I'm saying, just check, check with your life. Let me live so many days, all these years I've been breathing, let me live on that. <laughs> Try. Immediately it will tell you, this is not the way, you idiot. Is it telling you or no? No, no, I loved somebody so much and she's gone right now, I want to die. Try says, hell with her, I want to live, this says. <laughs> Stock market crashed, I lost all my money, I want to die, try. Life says, hell with your stock market, I want to live, yes or no? 
Are you life-oriented or are you death-oriented? This is the question. Because life is very brief but death is very long. Hello? People who died have died for a long time, isn't it? People who lived just lived for a few years. There is no long life, only a miserable person has a long life. <laughs> Otherwise there is no long life, where is long life? Even I am becoming old <laughs> Hello? One who is exuberant and joyful and involved, where is long life? It's a bloody brief life. Yes or no? I bless you with a brief life, not in terms of time, but in terms of experience. <laughs>